the newest location to Longmont and the Chamber. I'd like to introduce Sally, one of the founders and owners of this location and Medicine Man, to welcome you all and say a few words. Sally. Thank you, Karen. Yay. Um, Woo, yeah. Yay. Yay. We've gone through a couple of these ribbon cuttings and it's really amazing to see uh, all of uh, business owners coming to help other business owners. So thank you so much. Uh, my name is Sally. This is my team. Uh, it's hard to introduce everyone, but uh, we have a great team of folks here who have been with us for a long time. Um, I would love to name everyone, but we'll, we'll have a chance to get every, to meet everyone um, once we go inside. Uh, let's see. Uh, so as many of you know, Medicine Man won one of the four competitive licenses offered by Longmont. Um, so that was a big deal for us. Like, it was very tough competition and we tried, uh, we worked our butts off to get this uh, dispensary license. So we were very proud and excited when this happened. Um, you can tell we're not in the most ideal of locations, although I've had some conversations. Keith thinks it's a good place, so I'm down with that. Um, <laughs> but what we're working on here is uh, differentiating ourselves from the other stores in town through excellent customer service, a warm atmosphere, a very inviting and safe place to come and purchase cannabis. Um, so we're, uh, we started, we opened on February 20th and business has steadily increased. Uh, word of mouth in Longmont is a, is a powerful thing mm -hmm. and we're taking advantage of that. Um, the building that we're going to go into was as a former man cave of Roger Weibel. And I don't know if any of you know him, he owns a couple of dealerships in town, he's a long time, I think he's a, a Longmont native. And so we had a different idea of what we were going to do. We walked into his man cave and we changed everything. And you'll see when you walk in that we're really paying on a homage, I suppose, to Roger's vision. Uh, organization here, he's also, he's a founder and uh, I took his job as CEO, but he now runs one of our Thank other you. companies. Yes, <laughs> but he runs, we have other companies in the marijuana space as well. But we found it difficult to give. Um, people did not want to accept our money, so we started a 501c3 and have donated over $100,000 to local charities. Um, this is Lauren, she's our community engagement director, and she's been working in Longmont, and we've identified a couple charities that we will be donating to and volunteering with. Every employee is offered two days of paid, paid days to volunteer in the community, so uh, our, you'll find that our staff will be very engaged in the community, and um, if you have any opportunities for us, please let Lauren or, or anyone here know. Um, one last thing, we have a strain, a marijuana strain, which is a type of marijuana for those of you who don't know what marijuana is, and we call it the Long Monster. So it's developed the Long Monster. The long monster. Yeah. We developed it specifically, and it's only stole, sold at the store in 25% of the Pete, eye contact, very good. He's all dark and mysterious in his sunnies. <laughs> he's not even sunny. All right, so big smiles up here. Lovely. All right, so now we're going to do the cut, Pete. So on three, the ribbon wranglers are going to pull the ribbon and you're going to close the scissors, maintaining eye contact. See how you're looking down right now? None of that. Eye contact. Because um, surprise, it's Velcro, so it'll cut like magic. You just need to make sure it looks like nothing's happening. And can I have the back row put their hands up? Jess, can I have you lower your hand a little bit? Cause the, the Just lift your outside hand up. Perfect. I like the drape. I have to correct the drape on the ribbon. I'm sorry. All right, so on three, Pete. One, two, Three. Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. Reflex is like a tiger and he caught the bow. Please join us inside for a tour. Thank you.